All right, this this is part two of the University of Idaho murders. Um, these messages again use discernment if they don't, uh, you know, pertain to somebody or some other situation that's inquired in this that I've mentioned before. Either the Ashley, the psychic reading, or um, the victims or the murderer you know, just disregard it, you know, sometimes the atmosphere of the, uh, the, the, the case or the reading is, uh, you know, a little bit more than what it should be, but, um, so, there's a health professional involved in this, I believe somebody had, um, you know, mental, you know, uh, health issues, uh, also, um, we didn't fight anymore. We didn't compete against each other anymore. Um, so I think that it was kind of the end of a scenario. Okay. Um, it, it depends of who was concerned in it, but it was the end of a scenario. Um, and there's also somebody's childhood is involved in this. Um, there's a meditation study with some of this. In my case, I've been meditating for four days straight. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I, I go online, I read some stuff, and then I'll meditate. Um, I've been meditating for at least 12 hours a day. Um, so then... I can better feel the world around me. So that's my meditation study. I feel like there's somebody else in this case that is meditating, um, trying to calm their minds and trying to be spiritually connected to themselves. Okay, um, there is the end of a friendship here with some of these people or one of these persons. I feel like there's like a whole you know, like a whole group of friends that hang out together, and I feel like it was the end of a friendship for somebody. Um, she doesn't have time for his antics anymore. I feel like somebody was just kind of uh, done with somebody coming around and kind of having crazy schemes, ideas, having trouble of their own that they had to be bailed out of, you know, that type of thing. Very very leech-oriented friend or family member or at, at any rate. Um, just some somebody who's always um, j just a dangerous matter to, to even put yourself in. It could be a situation or a dangerous matter. But, um, yeah, there's just somebody who's... Who, who just doesn't want to take the reality of a certain situation or, you know... A rejection. Uh, so, um, your home is where you can be yourself. I feel like for the university, being around your friends could be like that um, as well. Um, kind of with millennials, um, such as myself and some other people. I'm X generation and a millennial, so you can imagine. Um, but yeah, we kind of grew up in single parent households. So, um, when we felt more at home was with, at school or around people that were like minded like us or people that we just click with. So that was our home away from home basically. But we kind of adapted that, um, mindfulness of, um, finding your own family and finding your own friends, um, in that family. So, um... A warning to be careful about participating in any um, illegal or get rich quick schemes. I feel like this is for the uh, for this tarot reader um, trying to get attention by her tarot readings on TikTok, which it, it's a bad it's a bad omen to put somebody's name out there like that and then like defame them for whatever reason. Um, and with with a history teacher um, that probably knew all these students, um, I, I feel like that's very bad. And then that's you know, oh, out sh out showing 
the um, the case itself, which I feel is in poor taste. Um, but you know. And then we have turning your back on somebody, traveling to a place from your childhood, um, lighting the way for others. Okay. Um, an adventurous love. So there was somebody who kind of had um, a relationship that was electric. Uh, usually it happens with people that have a Mars and Venus on opposite sides of the scale. But um, yeah, there can be adventurous loves here and there um, for a lot of different scenarios and friends and uh, mixes, you know. Um, there's somebody here with an unhappy childhood, and that's probably why childhood was here, um, plugged into another person's childhood that probably had a normal upbringing, had loving parents, had, um, a, a lot of things there for them. And people with unhappy childhoods were probably, um, just getting by or couldn't have the things that would build their self-esteem or, um, allow them to grow as individuals. So a lot of people have different scenarios in their lives too so that's why child both childhoods were brought up so in all of this there's some type of either love relationship or lust relationship that fell apart or friendship that fell apart and it was a bit of a problem for the person that was getting rejected by this other person so um a balanced relationship a relationship that heals past life love <laughs> So there's there's a reconnection of a past love here, and I believe it was uh, too little too late. I, I believe um, that I, I think somebody moved on from somebody else, and then they got really jealous, and then everything ended. And it's just very sad to see that happen so soon. All these uh, people, all these victims... Were in their 20s or 21. Uh, they were 21 and 20, I think, um, for the most part. I didn't have a chance to write that down, but it's very sad to have people that are just getting into who they are as people, who they want to be in the world, and have them taken so fast. I don't usually do these types of terror readings, but I feel like a lot of people's. Um, Stories have to be rebuilt. A lot of people have to be um, taken out of the scenario. Speaking bad about somebody who's passed away is not my forte. I like to know the story. I like to know um, where the fiction and the fantasy stop. And I want to know the reality. Um, but I do feel like there was a fatal attraction, literally. And I feel like a lot of people were brought into this that shouldn't have been, but they were trying to help their friend out. And that's what I think it was. Um, I don't think that there was any, you know, uh, quote unquote fan fiction to it. I just feel like there was jealousy, there was rejection, there was a love relationship and a, and a broken heart here, okay? Um, which is very sad for anybody to go through, but we do have to go through it in order to find our true path and our true nature as individuals. Um, and uh, your soul journey never stops. It just changes course. Or you find your footing in learning a lesson or being taught um, your own personal cunning. Okay. Um, what you want to go after, your goals, who you are as an individual, and where you want to be in the next 10, 20 years, okay? Um, with everything going on, I do have kind of a, um, a, a selection, um, which I found was funny. Um, there was a lot of imagery with eyes here um, and beauty, okay? So I kind of channeled a little bit. So, there's a love couple, an inner child, old flames. So there's somebody in the, waiting in the wings, per se. Um, there's somebody single and resting. There's a lack or an anxiety. Um, there's patience and harmony with, amongst friends. And then there's a self-love, passion, relationship. 
And then there's a change parting uh, tradition and a wedding, which with somebody passing on, a wedding actually is um, is a, it, it in the in the next realm, which would be um, the the afterlife. A wedding actually is um, a part of healing. Okay, a, a wedding in the afterlife is healing. Um, souls that heal together um, go on to the next life together. And they become friends again, um, which is very interesting if you believe in spirituality of um, the soul. You know. But some people, they believe you go to heaven. People believe you go wherever you need to go. Okay, And I feel that, like that's beautiful. I, I myself like death a whole lot more than life a lot of times. Because a lot of my friends are on the other side, and I talk to them too. Um, hopefully these four individuals will see my friends on the other side. Um, my friends are very jovial and they're they're very light-hearted people and seeing them pass away when I was a, at a very young age is very sad to me as well. But um, I, uh, I'll tell you, anytime I need to talk to my friends, I know they're there. I know their favorite animals. We used to go hiking in nature. We used to walk to class together. And their favorite animals would be the squirrels or some crazy new bird that would come in our path but um yeah we had an outdoor campus when we were in high school but um yeah every time I see one of those things it makes me smile and knowing that my friends are around watching over me but um yeah somebody taking um life and death so um so bersnickety bers or um, bersgrudgingly bers is a little sick, I think. And I hope um, uh, Rebecca, the history uh, professor, and Ashley, when she gets to court, um, she's told that she can't do this and make a mockery of a case like this. Um, I, I feel like that teacher had nothing to do with this. I feel like the teacher was being a teacher and wanting to help her students succeed in their life and making sure that they felt safe on campus doing what she could. And I, I just feel like there was a lot going on here that might have not been told to the teacher and the teacher's still trying to figure things out herself. And knowing that her students um, passed away in such a way I believe that hurts her heart more than anything, and I don't think anybody should um, be mean or insulting to a teacher or a professor. That's a tough job, um, and you're always trying to do what's best by your students. Um, and in a lot of cases, you're limited in what you can do. So um, make sure everybody gives um, love to that teacher, make sure that she's okay. Um, and make sure that if, if somebody's crazy on the internet or trying to make a fan fiction out of a tragedy, you kind of use discernment and you report that person. Um, it's not a kind thing to do in a tragedy. It's not a, it's a kind thing to do in a crisis, okay? I'm just here to make sure everybody's, you know, calm. I, I don't want any ghosts haunting anybody, um, but yeah, I'm... I feel like this is something that I needed myself, okay? I needed to clear up a lot of things here as well. Um, some people don't know how to act. But um, hopefully this helped a lot of people. And it does um, bring light to a situation. I read tarot cards for fun. I don't read them for any type of informational value. I just want people to understand that some stories are very traditional. Some stories are very, you know, hard to take. And um, I, I feel like this is a deep tragedy that hurt a lot of people and families. Okay? So, with that, um, take care of yourselves. Take care of everyone. And I'll see you here again. Um, I probably will be doing a lot more Death Day readings. 
and a lot more true crime ratings, but I, I, I was trying to meditate and trying to center myself and I'm not 100% healed myself and I don't think I'll ever be healed. But um, I, I, I just hope everybody's doing all right, okay? Um, I, I, I'm going through some things right now and I, I, I would like my privacy too. But you know, it's, it's that big of a deal. But um, I feel like people need me and I feel like I need people, okay? And I think we all do, you know. Anyway, I love you guys. And I think pretty soon I will be able to have the courage to do my About Me series where you ask questions and I answer them. But I'm not in that frame of mind yet. So I'll see you when I see you, okay? Bye.